Now, my, my talking point for today is about this SmackDown three-way. Now, I want to make something abundantly clear before I start complaining, because I know people, they, they're, they're, they got tunnel vision on only hearing what they want to hear when I'm talking. So I got to say this slow, and I don't even know why I bother, because I say it slowly and succinctly, and there's still mass confusion. This is much better with Daniel Bryan. I should do a quiz at the end. That's what I should do. I should do a quiz, so listen carefully. This is much better with Daniel Bryan involved. It's going to be a better match with Daniel Bryan involved. And I do like that it became a three-way because Roman Reigns didn't want Daniel Bryan involved. And Daniel Bryan threw out a bunch of different options like, why don't we do me versus Edge on night one? And the winner faces Roman on night two, which, by the way, was the idea that I talked about. I talked about this on the Fast Lane recap show. I was ridiculed. Lance ridiculed me. But you know what? Daniel Bryan thought it was a great idea because it was also his idea. Stole it from you. And it is a good idea. It's a, it's a fantastic idea, in fact. It solves all the problems. But in storyline, Roman Reigns says, you only have me for one night. Now there's a reason that it's taking place on one night in a three-way. So a lot of the things that they did, I liked. I'm going to quiz you on this afterwards, by the way. I just want to remind you. Taking notes. Now here's what I didn't like. So this Daniel Bryan comes out. And Daniel Bryan says, I am sick of people getting shots that don't deserve it. I deserve it, he says. I deserve to be in this match. I was like, who are you talking about that's getting a title shot that doesn't deserve it? Edge? Edge won the Royal Rumble. The entire gimmick of the Royal Rumble is, if you win, you get a shot at Mania. So what are you talking about, buddy? Why are you crying about this? So then Edge comes out, and Edge says, I started the Royal Rumble. I lasted the whole time. I outlasted, I outlasted everybody, including you. You were in the Royal Rumble. I outlasted you. I won. You have lost to Roman Reigns twice. I deserve this shot at WrestleMania. Not one thing that this man said was a lie. Everything he said was true. And so Daniel Bryan's response to this is to attack him. I will attack you for saying these things. He starts beating up Edge for doing nothing but telling the truth. And then, after he's attacked viciously, Edge then beats his ass. So I just watch this opening segment. I'm like, who is writing this? This is nonsense. Then, of course, you know, the people that really love WWE, they're like, Brian, you dummy. Daniel Bryan got screwed. Yes, he lost to Roman Reigns two times, but he got screwed. I'm like, bro, if you're the WWE fan, you should know that Kevin Owens got screwed on like five straight pay-per-views. So shouldn't he be in this match at WrestleMania? He actually got screwed more times than Daniel Bryan did. Remember that time where Roman Reigns was handcuffed to that gimmick and the ref just stopped counting? That guy got screwed. Oh, yes, but it's apparently this is just, uh, well, I want to defend WWE, so I'm going to overlook that so I can use it as my argument against this. No, if you watch everything, then this storyline is quite frankly nonsensical. Daniel Bryan has been beaten by everybody. Roman Reigns, Dan- Cesaro, uh, Jey Uso, Nakamura, multiple times. And he Drew comes Gulak. out and cries that he deserves a title shot, but Edge doesn't. So anyway, with that said... Quiz time. Yes. Do I like this better as a three-way or a singles match? Don't answer yet. Is this better with Daniel Bryan or worse? Let's see what the Twitch homies have to say. Oh, yes? What do you mean, yes? I said, is it better as a three-way or as a singles match? Uh, I'd say about 80% got the quiz right. It's better with Daniel Bryan involved. Yes. Do I like the storyline that necessitated a three-way instead of a a two-night battle? Did I like that or not? Let's see. No, no, no. 
What are they saying? Now you're wrong. <laughs> yes. Yes, I like the storyline. A couple of years, oh, people like still can't figure it out. No, you didn't like it, Brian. See? What What can I do? Well... Look, this was you, a two question really quiz. Like the storyline, or, or are you accepting the storyline because we are getting to something that makes it better? I like the storyline, but you know what it is? As soon as somebody in their mind is going to be the top babyface, they invariably screw it up every time. Remember when Daniel Bryan wasn't going to be in WrestleMania and he was just going to be a guy that went and lost to Roman Reigns repeatedly? The most likable guy in the world. Then Vince decides, well, we're going to turn these other two blokes heel, and Daniel's going to be the top babyface. Well, then we go to SmackDown, and they can't book this guy as a babyface to save their life. By the way, one other thing before we go to break. Where's that guy last week who, for an hour, was insisting that Edge was not a heel? Where is that guy? Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.